Okay, this is chapter 8 of God's book, Isaiah 53, in the day of the Lord. He dictated to me at his command and direction, just as he did the Torah with Moses. In fact, all of the prophets wrote their books too. Every one of them a man and divine beings, because that's how God speaks to you. His spirit of life is upon you, like Moshe in chapter Isaiah 11. And God is in his spirit, just as I am, and you are. Let me see if I can't get straight here. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, chapter 8. We're redoing all the chapters again. We just did it a couple of weeks ago. But God has already had me repost them, the new ones, because the old ones, uh, the original ones, had just become awful. I don't know why he waited so long. Uh, he didn't tell me these things. But uh, they're already starting to show a little wear, about seven times, about all I can repost them, and you don't start seeing a little problems here and there. They're being reposted again right now, but at the same time, we're redoing the book, but it takes forever to upload uh, from this camera to the computer and to YouTube. And uh, so it's a slow process. Uh, there'll probably be another reposting. They're not in that bad of shape. You can just see, I can see, that uh, the show starting to show a little wear and tear. This is called the first host of the Lord's host. And of course you need to read chapter 7 to find out what a host is. Or view chapter 7. The first host of the Lord's host in creation was Adam. A man created very much like the angels in heaven. God drew from the elements and materials of the earth symbolically or metaphorically said to be dust in the Hebrew Bible and formed the first human being, an adult man with the mind of a one-day-old baby. When the breath of life was given to Adam, the first thought in his mind came from God. And that thought came from God, who was being Adam for Adam. I am Adam was spoken by God as though he was Adam, using Adam's voice, and was perceived by Adam as being his own thoughts and inner voice in order to build a memory for Adam. God was not Adam. He was being Adam. For Adam, until the mind of Adam was fully formed as an adult man, God based his being Adam on the mind, soul, and spirit of Adam, who Adam would be if Adam had been born a child and raised in Eden by the voice and power of God. In the beginning, the conversation was God talking as Adam through his Holy Spirit and as himself to Adam. The spirit and soul and mind of Adam listening and learning and forming into a functional adult man. As a host, conversing with God for Adam was a natural part of his existence. And then God created the second human being and the second host, an adult woman with the mind of a one-day-old baby. Same process. When the breath of life was given to Eve, the first thought in her mind came from God. And that thought came from God, who was being Eve for Eve, a female voice. And God said, I am Eve, spoken by God as though he was Eve, and was perceived by Eve as being her own thoughts and inner voice in order to build a memory for Eve. God was not Eve. He was being Eve for Eve until the mind of Eve... <laughs> fully formed as a functional adult woman. God based his being Eve on the mind, soul, and spirit of Eve, who Eve would be if Eve had been born a child and raised in Eden by the voice and power of God. 
in the beginning, the conversation was God talking as Eve through his Holy Spirit and as himself to Eve, the spirit and soul and mind of Eve listening and learning and forming into a functional adult woman. As a host, conversing with God for Eve was a natural part of her existence. And that is true for me today. Actually, it was true for me the moment he spoke to me. He has that kind of power over your emotions and your thoughts and your mind. He can send information to your mind without speaking. I knew it was him that many spoke to me in atheists for 50 years. No surprise whatsoever. Uh, it's all in the, the book, The Life of God's Righteous Servant. First six chapters are pretty much uh, about me, accidents, injuries, cancer, disease, uh, to 53. And then I believe it's the seventh chapter is God speaks with an atheist. And the whole account's put in. It's very interesting. Okay, next chapter is chapter 9, The Era of Redemption.